Ah, naamini ungali umeokoka. Are you still saved? Yes. Hallelujah. How do you know you are, how do you know you are saved? Number 1. Mtu aliyeokoka anajua kwa sababu ameokoka. Hiyo maisha umeishi kabisa. Amen. Umeishi hivyo. Number 2. Unajua kwa sababu ya kutii Mungu katika hali zote alizokuamuru. And number three, unajua kwa sababu dani yako roho mtakatifu ni mushahidi. Pigeni Yesu makofi. Hallelujah. Na ni vizuri sana kujua kwamba actually hii hali ya roho wa Bwana kutia muhuri dani yako kwamba you are surely and truly and sincerely son of God or daughter of God is very important. Otherwise Mungu atubariki sana. Najua some of some of our brethren wamesafiri kwenda nyumbani trusting that hakuna mmoja amebaki nyumbani hapa Nairobi. Eh, nyumbani hapa ni house, kule ni home. Eh? Kulikuwa siku moja na issue katika koti wakati kulikuwa na kesi moja wale mnajua nyadugunga. Yeah, that's that case. Uh, Mine hakubuki hiyo alikuwa mdogo. Eh, unajua hiyo case? Katika katika sasa kotini kulikuwa na issue ya kujua. Ah, uh, the the difference between house and home. Na ikasemekana kuwa bana Nairobi ni house, Nyaruguga is home. I hope ah uh, I hope hakuna mtu amebaki kwa house. Si kweli? Trusting that all who are missing Sunday service watakuja service ya pili au wameenda home they are not in the house ah uh, that's powerful and now uh, tunajiandaa kwa sababu ya christmas christmas is special to us no sikubali mtu yeyote akwambia christmas haina maana ina maana ina maana kubwa let me say something christmas hii siku inafanya dunia itabue wa kwamba wa kristo wana siku yao ya kutabua mwokozi wao. Hallelujah. Unajua dini zinangangania nini? Zinangangania siku kuu zao ziwekwa kwa kalenda. And of course mnajua right now in Kenya holidays za dini hata zingine hazikuweko zimewekwa. Now <clears throat> Bwana za sana. Lazima tungangania imani yetu. Kwa sababu kama kuna kitu kinafanywa na hii mambo ya sijui new world order, sijui antichrist, sijui satanism ni kujaribu juu chini kuodoa jina Kristo anywhere. One time I went to America and uh nilikuwa nataka kununua iPhone. Uh, Nikaenda sudi kumoja, I want this phone. And I met that lady, Kamrisa Nara. How are you? Yes. What do you do on Christmas? I can use a what is Christmas? Aha. Uh -huh. It was an issue. Oh, that day, yes. I spent time with my dog. Kwake kutumia munda na mbwa. Afadhali ya kose ibada. You've got to issues whereby mtu amekuwa rafiki yake ni mbwa companion ni mbwa mpaka akiritaya anapeana sheria kwa anapeana idhini kwa atoni loya kwamba pesa yake iende kwa mbwa now hello praise god ukimwambia sasa sudan kuna watu wako na jaa anasema mbwa yake ni adhamana kuliko hao watu Now ukisafiri duniani ni mtajua kwamba shetani is real We need to make Jesus real Hallelujah Hallelujah When I was in Ireland I noticed kwamba Ireland Ireland sana sana ilikuwa inajuka kwa Catholic Now wanasema hawataki kusikia anything like that Sasa nyumba za makanisa zinauzwa. 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 
another day another time in England you realize when I fuga makanisa and I went to a place by to Northampton unaona hili kwa kanisa na ina msaraba lakini dani yake ni pub ni bar St Andrews msaraba huko lakini dani yake ni pub inauzwa they don't care hello praise the lord hallelujah you know wanaza kuja you know in england kanisa inaza fungwa any time is it's, it's charity mnaweza ona watu wameingia wa Kenya revenue revenue authority waambie ashas sasa sadaka mtukui sadaka inachukuliwa na maofisa wa revenue wa serikali wanachukua wanahesabu na wanapeleka bank now may god help the church now praise the lord now i want to preach uh kujiuliza how do we prepare ourselves to receive jesus christ the lord as we prepare for christmas we need to receive jesus christ the lord now tutataka kujiuliza how do we receive the king how do we receive the king how do we receive the king kama kuna kitu cha maana kama mnajua ni wa kristo kujua kwamba the god we serve anajijua na anajihisi people worship god as if god ni kujulishwa na ni nani as if ni sisi tunamfanya awe mungu as if <coughs> ni sisi tunampatia jina some of us tunatumikia mungu ni kama mungu anaomba msaada wetu and the mistake about to go now kama wa kristo is the way we perceive jesus christ and the way we perceive our king let me say something in the church in the family ambao imepanuka ikawa kubwa ina heshima kubwa ambao inakubalika na Mungu nirudia tena in the church in the family ndani ya kanisa iliyobarikiwa ikapanuka ikayuka na ni kabisa ni Mungu amewainua ina heshima kubwa inao kubalika because you can have heshima because inao kubalika na huo Mungu. Ni kama hivi. Ni kama uhusiano wa baba na mtoto. Baba yoyote ukijua mtoto wako anaelewa heshima yako. Ukijua mtoto wako anaelewa ubaba wako. Ukijua mtoto wako anaelewa vile unavyostahili kutunzwa. Huyu baba bila kuabiwa unataka huo mtoto atukuke na asiwaya ibika is it true that's how god is you know let me advise you we spend time in prayer because of need narudia tena we can spend hours in prayer because of need utumia muda mwingi sana kuomba utumia muda mwingi sana kuri ya sababu wataka Mungu akobe nyumba yako. Mingi sana. Eh? Maybe kwa sababu ya mama mgojo. I wish ungejua Mungu anakuhitaji sana. Kwanza umtolee ibada. Kwanza umtolee sifa umtole heshima let me advise you ukitaka Mungu ajibu maombi kwanza mpe heshima yake kujibu maombi sio shida haleluya bwana sana ni kama leo if you have a son or a daughter ambao daima daima hata kiingia ndege wende wapi umkubuke umheshimu si wewe baba utamheshimu kwanza ni yeye atakuheshimu kwanza and unless tuelewe Mungu vile anajijua na vile Mungu alivyo baba 
anayegojea sifa na heshima sometimes things are difficult now nitafanyaje ni mgoje bwana kama mfamo wa faume vile yeye anataka nitafanyaje ni msifu bwana the way he knows himself nitafanyaje sasa ni mtukuze yeye vile yeye anajisikia how what do i do to please god and to offer sacrifice that that is acceptable and that's one of the thing about we should ask ourselves tunapoingia christmas now wakati uh ejo alimtokea uh mary there's a statement the ejo made let's go to uh, luke chapter 1 Luke chapter 1 I hope you, are, you have your bible with you Luke chapter 1 Haya trusting that we may fit a harper by the grace of god uh, look chapter 1 now the bible says something very important that is verse 32 he shall be great he shall be he shall be no but under mm -hmm. jesus i worship you baada ya ya, 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 ya malaika kumwambia mere mere I've come with the news very soon you conceive and I have a new method for that how do I conceive and mere kabisa how do I conceive nitapataje miba na sijaolewa kwa maana mere was alikuwa ameokoka bwana alikuwa na dada msuri akasema no 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 this is the method one Rom takatifu ataka juu yako kama kivuli. Can you, can you think about that? I don't know kama Mary katika that I don't know when Mary discovered roho wa Bwana anamkalia kama kivuli. It said the Holy Spirit was to come on Mary like the way amuzunguke hivi kae ndani yake kama a shadow hiyo over it means is not just a shadow but a shadow that eh, is overshadowing atakaju yako kama kivuli sawa what else and after that happen you discover there's some there's a there's a, a pregnancy in you simple as that Amekana how na kabwa mere na kile kitakuwa hapo ndani ni kitakatifu na hakitaitwa mtoto wa anybody kitaitwa son of god by the way ukitaka ku argue with any man in this world why jesus is son of god always always refer them to to Luke chapter 1 if you go back a little bit Mhm. Mm Inasema behold you shall conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. If you go to the verse that five Inasema hivi that five and the angel answered we mtu yoyote hata wale wanatupinga dini zingine if they ask you why we call Jesus son of god waambie sisi tulimuita ni mungu mwenyewe alimuita so we are obeying god we are giving christ the title god gave him because hello can we read together luke 1 verse 35 are you able to read Let's read together and the angel answered and said to her the holy spirit will come upon you 
and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also, that the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. To commit as the Son of God, are we, are we right? Nobody should tell us. Nini wa Christo, munaita huyu yesu manu wa mungu, wabia nono stop it. Because, you know, do you know why he's son of God? There's no man involved here. Hakama na ume. Wona ita, madungu, njoga wa mungu. Hello? Na wasi wa si wa kamau, vayu wa sema, nubu zake mungu, juu ya meri ukatokea miba na kapu tedo that way conception mutu kupata miba bila wana ume ni nguvu za mugu zima mshukia then this should not be given to and that's why brothers and sisters kitu kimocha kilikuwa problem na Joseph ni kwamba is a sif Jesus alimuita baba pale wakiwa wak, eh wakitegaza bao eh shermala but there's a need to hear Jesus alipofika na Mary Joseph kama amepotea Mary said to to Jesus don't you know eh, I and my dad we be looking for you you got lost na tumekupata kwa hekaru ukifudisha ukingangana na wazee wale wanajua neno mpaka unawaweza na neno akasema from now alitoka <laughs> sasa praise the lord sasa Kristo akaanza ku introduce his other life nitakuwa kaka nyumba ya baba from now now in other words i am not lost i have relocated to the right place i shall be found from today doing what you have seen now that's the last time joseph anatajwa katika mambo ya Yesu and we think Joseph alikaa kwa sababu ukiangalia bible Joseph alizawa watu wengine akina Simon akina Jude and there were ladies daughters and most likely mimi nafikilia Joseph akawa preoccupied na others akasema huyu abana kwa anaitwa wa Mungu tu nimwachie Mungu. Oh wa guide katika area guide. Hello, praise God. It's interesting. Now, Bible na sema hivi. Hii verse started to about me so. I read verse Haya. And then another definition ya Yesu. He will be great. Can we read this one now? He will be great and we will be God, the son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father david hallelujah now haya mambo yote na neno kabla yesu haja haja tokea he shall be great he shall be son of the highest hallelujah bwana asifiwe ukienda bele na sema hivi Let's maybe check another let's continue to verse 33. Mm -hmm. Can we read together? And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Hallelujah. Put your ears on my coffee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, the problem is to get Christmas. Problem about Mungu wako nae na sisi is the issue of Luke chapter 1, 32 and 33. Because watu wanaona ni birthday ya mtoto. Others take advantage because it's a holiday. Let me go and rest. It's okay. 
Let me go and see my mother. Let me go see my brothers. Let's have a come together, which is very much okay. But I would like us to understand this truth. Kwamba mwenye anazaliwa, mwenye mere aninelewa juu yake, akona tabia kwamba, baima sama, huyo atakuwa mku. Ata itwa mwana wa alie juu. Amen. Na ufaume wake utakuwa hauna mwisho. Now, kitu nataka kuelewa. I want to know Jesus the way Mungu alimwelezea. He shall be great. Amen. He shall be Jesus has come. Akiwa great. Now, kanisa to now sherekea Christmas, I want to announce to you the one Jesus is giving is not a simple baby. Bible says he shall be great. Amen. Now number two, he shall reign. Aja kutawala. Amen. Na utawala wake haupigiwi kura baada ya miaka ine kama America au Kenya. Yeye si MP, yeye si member of parliament, yeye si governor ambao anatafuta kula kwa watu, amekuja kutawala na utawala wake hauna mwisho. Na utawala wake si kutafuta anatafuta. He is that we forever. Jesus is Lord not by being made by us, but he is Lord forever. Jesus is king, not by being made king by any man, but he is revealed as a king. Time has come wapendwa, tumuelewe Yesu vile alivyo na vile ametokea. Jesus, I worship you. Hallelujah. Now, if we understand just that way, time has come, wapendwa nipende sana mimi na wewe huyu Kristo aliye niokoa ukuu wake nianze kuona kwa jia kubwa bwana Yesu atubariki now jesus came for all mpende msipende kuzaliwa kwa Yesu ni vita now last time i i shared we shared the prophecy ya Kristo wale about tunaikubuka mwana wa mwanamke and never forget this prophecy wakati wote unafikia mabada ya ukobozi ukienda katika genesis let's read that maybe by the grace of god genesis chapter 3 chapter 3 utaona katika hii sehemu actually genesis chapter 3 is a chapter about Mungu hageipendelea. Chapter 2 was okay. Chapter 1 was okay. But chapter 3 haiko mapenzi ya Mungu hivyo. Because chapter 3 is when Satan katika Biblia is first mentioned. Hello praise God. Ni katika mwanzo ukurasa wa tatu, Bible inaanza na, kus, na kunena if you check the scripture chapter 3 ya Genesis inaanza na nyoka Sio ni chapter baya We I, we kama kuna verse chapter Mungu mi, na, nafikiri hii hii Mungu hakuagaipenda is the chapter in the bible where satan introduced something that god had and i pray your marriage your business haitakuwa hiyo chapter na in case ikitokea haitakuwa defu hello hallelujah in case Genesis chapter 3 itatokea kwa nyumba yako wacha iwe tu verse moja Iadikwe shetani akatokea 
Naye Joyce wake vavi akababia kwenda kabisa. You know one time um nilikutana na MP moja. I think ni MP wa Meru Meru Samaya. And um he was accusing watu wa kamokoji kwa sababu ya fulani ya uchaguzi fulani sitasema hapa nakambia bishop i wish christians should know what is going on in parliament akasema kama kuna watu hawajali serikali ni wa kristo they don't know kwamba dani ya parliament there's a lot of things going on. Kapia bishop wa Kristo wa Gejua katika kila komiti ya bunge waweke ma bishop kama watatu. Wao nene kwa ajili ya kanisa kwa sababu wengine wengine hata wengine ambao ni satanist wengine they are coming there. Do you know today Mijadara ingine munasikia kwa bunge inanenwa. Who introduced those things? Go and do a research. It's not the member of parliament anayepereka. It's a group somewhere. Ya antichrist. Na kwa maana bunge kuna democracy kwa ba unahezaeda committee hizo preke mjadara. Wakipereka yetu hakuna inapita. Kuna wale waliongea siku moja ate kuna dini imepewa eh court and then ato njeno akauliza how tulipotagaza walileta wakatusukuma wakaogea tukapitisha nyinyi hamkuja wenye wanaulizwa Amos wako akauliza hivi na kwa maana nyinyi mlikuwa na mabishop watatu katika chama cha katiba what did they present they just sat there wakapewa mshahara nothing hello kulipewa kila dini hata ya shetani kitaka may god help us now i say may god help us now there's a time katiba ilikuwa inapitishwa na ifasha praise the lord na kuna watu sitasema dini gani sitasema dini au nao walienda with a lot of money na kuna kitu kilikuwa kipitishwe against kanisa na against mambo mengine ya kanisa hata hizi mambo mengine mengi 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 huyu MP niambia bishop hiyo pesa hatu MP hageiacha it was millions aniambia bishop do you know who saved the church? Akaniambia ni Ruto. Alitokea akasema shindwe. Ndio mtoto kwa shindwe kwenda nyinyi. Hivyo tu wakataroka. Akasema kutokea akasema dokeni. Yesu ni bwana unajua ile vujo vujo wana siasa. Yesu kwenda kabisa. Just the akasema lakini kama hiyo ingeingia galibika. May God help the church now. Hallelujah. Let me tell you the truth. There's a lot of war going on. Even now, wakati wa Christmas. Kama kuna wakati wachawi na wale watu wa Antichrist hupanga jama, ni wakati mwezi wa wote kuna holiday ya wa Kristo. Wanapenda sana. Mnasikia niwaambia one day mimi nilikuwa nimeenda kuhubiri Meru I remember it was 26th and there was this great revival bana and then nani meru kule kule wale wanajua meru ameru chika mko na ameru hapa ukienda ya ki kule kule ni bali nyumba meja and the music kujua is my son and he be that did that did we huoni nini nini huoni ule jamani satanist enja wa alikuwa ameingia amefanya hii and I noticed aliingia kwa mlango and the man was so powerful kwamba even pastors akifikia ulikuwa naodoka bila kujua 
Yani I saw anapita watu wanaodoka bila kuambia waondoke. Akija kwa sababu so strong. And and na nikajua such level of witchcraft this is how they do it. If you don't kama hutamshabulia mbele. Kuna kitu atafanya. Iwe kwamba utangangana vita sasa ya kitu kimekuingia. So nikamu attack because in the name of Jesus I destroy you. And the man fell down. Akasema bishop kwani unaniangamiza hivyo? Hujui nimepewa project za Christmas. Za nini? Tunahitaji damu. Hiyo kitu nifanye nifikirie sana kwa Christmas. We need a lot of blood. Now by the way, kama huu ni a witch na tuko meru dani kule. Na akaniambia, nikamwambia tell me the truth. Tell me one of the assignment you could have. Akasema tafadhali usiniangamize, wacha tu itimize. Kambea niambie moja. Akasema kesho 27th. Actually that night 26. Alikuwa angushe bus. Sita sema ni company gani? Kutoka Busia imetoka Busia anajua ni company gani ni wapi itaanguka na akaniambia alikuwa anaua watu exactly 23 Ni zile accident about ikianguka hampati damu anywhere Nikamwambia utajua Mungu anaishi I destroyed the powers of that man Nabia you will never go back to witchcraft Let me tell you Inawezekanaje agent wa giza akomeru kwa msitu na anaangusha basi natoka busia geography ya kiroho ni tofauti na ifeseko hello bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe hallelujah it's true it's true No, it's war. It's war. Na hebu nikwambie, sasa niambie, what is that? Na saa hiyo mnakula buzi eh? Mnagojea kuwawa. That's why one day tulikuwa tunaomba kwa sababu ya Christmas, tujiadae kwa Christmas. It was on a Tuesday I prayed, I was fasting. Bwana kaniambia sasa kama nataka amani. Bwana kaniambia, can you sacrifice yourself for the church? Bwana kaniambia toa dhabihu. Mimi nitakulipa nitakujali nita tu baadaye. Bwana kaambia nao uh, mimi siko tayari nilikuwa nilikuwa nimepaka Christmas wa buzi. Hey! That Christmas nilikuwa nimepanga kwangu kwa my brother kwa guka. Aya ya ya ya. Nilikuwa nimejenda kukura kabwa hapana. Bariki wengine. Bwana kaniambia nikae siku 10 na siku 16 hivi fasting to cover the church to cover families. So I told my wife, please, muniruhusu, nyinyi endeni. Let me stay indoors praying. Hallelujah. Nikaenda mpaka jarusi januari sita. Mwakabia sasa fungua. Mwakaniambia sasa Christmas yako, huku kula, but I know God later bless me so much. Because I'll be a your sacrifice. You need to know how God can bless you. Usipende tubo sana, utaumia na tubo yako. Mwe na kwenda kwa guo. <laughs> Hallelujah. No, you see this issue, like you know this one. Genesis chapter 3, serpent came. Let's agree, he can come. Baba, he can come. But, please, each chapter in your life is here beyond verse 3. Wacha tuseme alikuja akaonga ukamumaliza that is enough genesis chapter 3 in your family if i ask you today are you a product of such an attack sometimes if you ask your mother atakwambia ask your mother utasikia katika familia ambayo umezaliwa maybe 20 years ago 40 years ago kuna mtu hii genesis chapter 3 alienda paka kamaliza paka shetani akaja 
akaogea na baba yako akafukuza mama yako akaoa mama mchawi inojo in Genesis chapter 3 hiyo akaoa mama mchawi haya mukaza kukufa you know one time i visited my godmother nikiwa katoka dogo where my, my mother come from nikaketi tu and then i noticed my grandmother was in deep pain nasi ugojwa akaniangalia akalia akaniuliza katimu nani dunia hii angekuwa na pesa na angekuwa mkubwa kama your uncle kabla kuni why so so akampia uncle dio wale watu dia walikuwa wanafunzi wa kwanza machakos technical ilipoanza very bright how do you walikuwa wae ma minister what happened kabia katimo sijali and then nikafikiri let me consult my mother kabia no you know katimo we were a rich family and koyako alikuwa technical and kwa mwingine alikuwa kaisha jiru high school miaka 50s but something happened and now serpent he statement haitakosa kwa family it depend kama mtaruhusu shetani aendelee kama vile ifa limruhusu serpent came kukawa na shida ya marriages what eh ukakuta huyu ametupa huyu sitasema mengi hapa hallelujah and then something happened kama ni huyo anko within a year akarukwa na akiri my mama kabia no you know katimo mimi mimi nikaita teachers training college akambia katimo show show yako who is my mother angekuja kuniona ngepitia nyuma ya college kwa sababu she was almost naked hakukuwa na nguo my mother niambia alianza kukata miti msitu abadea akiwa na 12 years wapata chakula a rich family that one day genesis chapter 3 verse 1 ilianza kazi can we read this out of the command in by sins uri sana now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the lord god had made and he said to the woman has god indeed said you shall not eat of every tree of the garden hello praise god whenever satan's come alone unakuta mstariko meangalia mizilika badala ya kuweka full stop unaweka question did god say wezakana mke moja sasa hiyo mmekosania shilingi 500 unje kuna katu za kusani bwana kwenda maka hiyo god maka wana nyinyi nyinyi kaje igire na mamomwe you see kadi unaangalia musomba kweli musomba ni kai ona mudhuri kweli wasichana Unakuta umeenda boarding school. Eh na vijana, the only thing they are discussing there ni mambo ya boyfriend. Boyfriend, sex, boyfriend. Wanasema mtu ambao ni virgin mjinga, you should try. You should wanaongea, wanaongea day and night, day and night. Siku hizi wameanza mambo ya lesbian. Unakuta uh, even during the day, msichana na msichana wamerara pamoja pale, whatever. Everything is sex, sex, drugs, sex drugs usharati usharati kuogea kutenda if you are not careful where is genesis chapter 3 did god say kwamba kuwa na boyfriend ni dhambi umeingia pahali ya babo hello praise god leo kiweka pesa hapa let's go into a pesa hapa ni niweke noti moja giri moja hapa pale pale Rafu niambie mtu mmoja pale ajifiche agalie. Hutaona mtu atafika hapa aseme did God say. <laughs> Badala ya kutumia Biblia anatoa inasema shakolira washu. <laughs> <laughs> Nakwambia baada 
ibada Genesis chapter 3 hiyo utaona mtu ameangalia na angalia did God say Kikaka kidogo utaona noti moja imebaki pale katikati utaona kuna mtu aliona na ameirudi Kuna wale wanaonenewa shetani kidogo ana shida nusu lakini akiwa kwa gita sema kejemeshokere Did God say Hello bwana asifiwe hasa he, this one does not happen when maybe you're in a group this one atakam kwa kwa group like now there I'm talking here you can be waweza kuwa peke yako hapo na kwa sababu you are not covered Satan is speaking hello yes jana usiku ra saa saba ukiona movies za ibilisi na uwaji mahali ulifikisha sainoiza bishop maliza hara haraka au kuna mtu hapa hii swali imetokea sana kuna msichana amekujaribu sana neighbor wewe ni mzee labda mke wako ameenda biashara busia miezi tatu na hapo tu next kuna mama alijua mke wako ayuko sema baba kama nimegudua mama yuko kura hii matoke labda ni muganda unajua vile wakati wananyekea inamba hivi na kikupatia na inamba hivi kura matoke umekura matoke mara tatu mpaka this one is speaking did god say kuna mwingine muke alikufa <laughs> atakawa na shida ya sehemu za za sili and some doctors don't believe doctors you need to be very careful some doctors akiogea utamwambia nyamaza let me get another doctor anaambua sasa mzee vile naona unaumia kule uko na muke sina he tafuta moja haraka na didugu sasa kupita hiyo Halo Kasiana alikuwa kwa nyumba hata hada akili kwa maana anaambua kitu nahitaji ni sex actually doctor is not saying you need a wife he is saying you need sex kuna wasiana wakienda kupimwa labda uko na pain eh pain menstrual cycle yako ni iko very painful painful so that's what tell you the best way ni uzae haraka ni uzae okay udi za haraka tafuta kimwanaume za even some can tell you i can also help you some people some... <laughs> that's okay da okay da hospitali zire nzuri kama doctor ni mwanaume wale mnaenda pap smear anaingiza kitu kule kule ndani hawezi kufanya hivyo kama hakuna nurse mwanamke just to keep ethics Anaweza angalia wewe aseme wewe nionekane ni mzuri kuliko mke wake ambaye amezeeka sijui ni mwe ni mwe baba sijui nini watu wengine wachafu sana May God help us to overcome this battle Amen because kile abacho kinawinda wa Kristo sio nguvu za ibilisi inajulikana it is serpent being more cunning than any beast I say kire kinaharibu akili za vijana kinaharibu akili unakuta watu wanavuta bangi sasa unaambua kuvuta bangi ni kama tu kukunywa koko unaambua kuvuta bangi ni kama kukunywa chai si hata chai ni drug mtu akikunywa anasikia kama usuri unasikia kuna tafutwa ground of compromise na kile kinatafutwa we kile kinakuagusha si si we si kuchukuliwa kwa nguvu kuja haraka kuja haraka ingia kwa bangi kuja haraka kuja haraka rara ni mwanamke kuja haraka hapana it is the cunning it is serpent who is more cunning than any beast may god of our us overcome but the, but the, The, the issue ni kwamba if you check this scripture utaona vile huyu mama alibehave the bible says something interesting 
mwanamke akamwambia nyoka matuda ya mtu wa bustani twaweza kula lakini matuda ya mti ulio katikati ya bustani Mungu asema musiale wale musiaguse musije mukava let me something any time quest satan comes in agetaka uweke wazi siri siri zako za gufu siri zako satan would like you to be open in a way that you expose the secret of your anointing the secret of your success the secret of blessing for instance if the devil ask you sasa hii mambo ya fugu la 10 mungu alisema mtoe dimbalikiwe eh alisema tukitoa eh ya 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 hello praise god you need to be very careful when you are opening up to some people who are agents of the devil are you understanding now Hallelujah. Unakuta umeshika 500,000. Mungu amekuambia hii ni ya Kagudo Road. You need to cover your mind, cover your soul, cover your body. Serpent asikunenena ujaja wake. Hutanyang'anywa pesa uko nazo. Lakini kama ujaja wa shetani utaingia, hiyo pesa itafika. But ukweli wa Mungu uliofanya upate hiyo pesa na akasema tunapeleka ile kanisa letu pale ukweli huo umo But the devil causes you to question the truth because Satan comes in ukiangalia verse 5 verse 4 Satan comes in na anasema kitu hapa Haya sikiza nyoka akamwambia mwanamke hakika hamtakufa Nataka muniambie If God says one thing about katika sheria za Mungu ziko ni kuzuia tamaa ya mwili. Ni kuzuia tamaa ya kiakili. Ni kuzuia kiburi ndani ya mtu. Ni kuzuia nafasi ya tamaa zako. Tamaa huwa tamu. Tamaa za pendeza mwili. For instance, uliamka asubuhi. Do you know there are people even today na ni washirika akotoka kitada Asema ni choka sana ja jana Mwili hupenda kupumzika na mwili unatamaa zake and yet mwili huu ndio hekaru ya roho mtakatifu Mwili huu ndio nabeba wokovu Mwili huu ndio nabeba roho yako Mwili huu ndio ndio unabeba mwito wako mwili huu ndio tatembea uende crusade mikono hii ndio atakrea wagonjwa mdomo huo ndio tanenea watu unabii you need to tell the body tell satan mwambie kabisa it is true tamaa iko but mimi nimebadilika my body organs and my life is set apart for God. God na nikimaliza mwendo mwili nitauacha niende kwa Mungu aliyeniita. Hallelujah. But now Satan comes anachukua kile Mungu alikuambia na nakibadilisha. Can you imagine when God says you shall surely die and Satan comes and say you will not surely die. If you check your scripture Satan uses the same word. God says you shall surely die. Satan says you will not surely die. Kwa nini shetani apate nafasi ya kuogea hivyo kwa sababu umerudi chini sana. To a next tent unataftia tamaa zako nafasi and Satan is ready to provide space for your last You know, umeokoka lakini huombi umeokoka lakini ukweli wa Mungu ndani ya akili yako haumo umeokoka lakini ah it's too bad may god help us nisalimieni may god help us hallelujah hallelujah now 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 listen carefully now let me say this ukienda all these now if you go to verse 5 
Bible says something interesting. Verse 5. You know, Satan and Asema, for God knows when you eat, you shall be like him. You see now, okay, gather verse 6, Bible says, the immediate immediate shetani alipo maliza kueka mama mawazo yake na kuinua tamaya mwili dani ya mama kinyume na mungu wali hai Bible says, macho ya mama yaliyo jua yaliyo ona ule muti ni kiguza na ni kukula ni takufa the same eyes changed and the bible says and the woman saw that the tree was good for food what god called death church to be good for food naomba mungu akupatie ushidi i pray kama kuna kitu kibaya you know <laughs> this day Whenever somebody says, Bishop, I've been in relationships. I, that's not biblical. Iyo mamba ya wanawaki kusema relationship. Gapi tatu ujue. Iyo. Okay, now, what happened? <coughs> How wanaume? Walira na wewe? How wanaume? How wanaume? But can you tell what they are doing now? There's a, another issue. Imetokea. Wasichana muwe very careful. Muwe very careful. Very careful. Eh? Unakuta mwanaume na kuwabia fanya hivi tufanya romance but sita ingia sehemu za siri. I will not have sex. Let me use plain word. I will not penetrate. Wacha tuwagea hiwa. Nawagea kwa hiwa. Ile muna wagea kwa sisi. Tuwagea hapa. Muna jifanya nini? Tuguzane lakini sita ingisa pale. Eke tuwa liye. Si onaga hapa hivi. Si diwa sichana. And that's Unakuta mwanaume na kushika na kushika ata huko na kushika. There are even situations I've had ladies. Anaambiwa na mwanaume. Fanya hivi. When this idea to uh, I release myself. Kama sita ingia huko. You know, funny, funny things. There are things, there are dirty things going on underneath. That is evil. That is satanic. Ambia, haku, haku ingia kwa mwili wagu lakini tulicheza. Mulicheza ya wapi? Kwa nyumba yake. Umeoko, ni meoko kwa haku ingia. Let me tell the truth. Haku ingia. Hali ingia kwa kwa hee. Hali ingia kuingine. Wasitana, yyo tambia ikufe. Na kuna wamama wakana yyo tambia. Muke wa mutu. Lakini anafanya hivyo na boyfriends. Misi wafichu wa mama. Now it was so popular kwaba the most immoral people are married women. It was announced the other day. And they do those during the day. Jione taigia na bag. Metoa kazi. Lakini ya metoa kazi nyingi. Wada mko kamokoji, mko river road. You know those people. Unakuta mama meajiri kamvrana. Anakuabia ni driver yake. Wakingia kazini saa tano wana disappear nuri saa nane. Na wakia ukweli. Watu wakikoba. Neguwa. Wakikoba. Yes, true. Kwani muna feature? Kuna kama wanaume kako, kako huku. Nae mutu zetu ingina kama wanaume kakata kama secretary. They disappear saa tano kazi. Kipago mozuri. They come back saa nane. Wengine ni wazee baoni ma manager unakuta anaenda ofisi mape. Kwa via, kwa sababu kuanzia 5 mpaka saa 2 pale kwa ofisi kuna secretary, kuna assistant A, assistant B. Kuna ule anakuja mapema kupika mayai. Sasa Unaona kama ni mimi mimi si da mi huogea hivyo hapa. Nyinyi si da yenu mnaongea huku mjificha nyinyi. Yenu ni masengenyo yangu ni mahubiri. Bwana tusaidie sana. It's true. 
is true is true wakati walikuwa nasema nyumba ya parliament ime block sewage kwa sababu ya used condoms used condoms from where sex in the office mimi kuna wakati nitembea mtu mmoja wa serikali mkubwa sana mwanamke aliyeingia mbele yangu alikasaambia kabla tell me the truth what happened and she disclosed they did something in the office nani mp <laughs> sasa ate kwa sababu ni mp amsaidie asai apate basale amsaidie apate kaplot amsaidie nataka hii we nataka watu wetu hii chapter genesis chapter 3 isifike we isifike verse 6 wacha ifike tu verse 2 haleluya kwa hapa shetani alikuja na ujaja wake nikamtabua nikamwambia nimeitiwa uzima my god is real haleluya haleluya tumwambie kama yesu get behind me satan we love have that haleluya but look at this what used to be death kira mama getazama aseme hii ni kifo bible what does the bible say look at that can we read together so when the woman saw that the tree was good for food ha go check now good for niwaambia adam wa kwanza alianguka na mama gapi mama tatu si niwaambia hivyo First John chapter 2 verse hebu tuweke hiyo kwanza alafu later we come back here. First John chapter 2 verse 16 nasema nini? Barua ya kwanza ya Yohana 2:16. Can we do this and make sure you are writing these scriptures. You write them eh? Because you need to memorize them and know the scriptures. Haya, can we do this this one for all that is in the world. Haya, get it right. For all. Oh, see ni all. Yaani nasema hivi tamaa zote za ulimwengu hii shetani anatumia zinaitwa o o dia zote za ibilisi atatumia kuagusha watu Yohana amesema amefunua o that is the world amesema ni njia tatu ya kwanza the last of the flesh ya pili the last of the eyes ya tatu and the pride of life is not of the father but of the world mama ngapi Ukisikia doe imeharibika itafute kwa hizi tatu. Ukisikia mtoto amechafuka kwa hizo tatu. Ukisikia nyumba imevujika ni hizo gapi? Tatu. Ukisikia kuna bishop au pastor alianguka ni hizo tatu. Can you read them again? The last of the flesh ya pili the last of the eyes ya tatu and the pride of life. This three Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Unakuta mume unajua unaweza mume wako mliteseka na yeye mkao hamna kitu. Wacha gari ingie. Ana kama ni mama mchafu kwa maana mliteseka na yeye anatafuta wale wa mama wako na pesa. Ana kama una akili. The same happened to women. Mlipokuwa hamna pesa, mama mlitabika na yeye. Wacha sasa aajiliwe wewe na pesa. Ana wewe ni kazee. Eh? kanyarugunga mganga na haya mkuru anyaka thanga yeye yeye ni mama wa kimataifa that's how people are destroying families unakuta msichana iko mzee mmoja wakati mmoja anunua gari na mimi namjua nikimuombea akiwa na chakula akawa ni kiburi anaona wazika mimi haga nionyesha lakini wazee baba mna gari bwana Ah jinyo wazee hamna akili mnaonge ndio ataisha tu Do you know the same thing happened again The same man nishuhudia akiniambia vile aliniambia pale mwanzo bishop uko na fair akasema This too much Let's go to Genesis chapter 3 verse 6 Mnasoma neno kabisa Mko kwa Biblia au mko wapi na, tuko Christmas kweli? Eh? Genesis ni Christmas. Eh? Kenywa. Habari ya vijana. Normal box. 
Haya. Bwana sio sana. Haya, kama mliangalie, mliambie. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food. Katika zile last of, tuzama last of the eye, last of the flesh and the pride of life. Katika hizi zile tatu hiyo ya kwanza ni gani? Last of the eye. Eh? Uh -huh. Na pia and that eh and eh hapana ya kwanza is last of the flesh si ni chakula taka ya pili and that it was present to the eyes hiyo ni last of the ya pili and the three and a three desirable to make one wise hiyo ni nini pride mama ngapi do you see them there i thank god John was a bedi akiwa mzee aliona hii mambo mambo matatu that the devil uses when the woman saw that the tree was good for food you only last of the flesh and that it was pleasant to the eyes you only last of the eyes na tatu desirable to make one wise na zafanya mtu awe nini hallelujah did she overcome? Where? Mwen, mama Mwende, alishida hii kweli? Kwa na soma wapi mama Mwende? Niambie Mwende, usomi bibiria. Si alishidwa. What does it say? She took of its fruit and ate. And that's why I said, manamuke di ujega nyumba. Hii aliagusha yake. Guy, babajeri, muzea alikura. And she also gave to her husband with her and he ate. But you see now, ukiagalia judgment ya mungu, waze, excuse me, waze, when you check the judgment of God, Adam was judged because of what? Adam had no contact with Satan. Bible says, Kwa sababu ulisikiriza sauti ya mkewe. Mkewe. I have a question. Kuna wakati ya papo, you should not listen to the voice of your wife. Na hivyo muna witaka hani. Tika yu ulimu. It's true. Kwa ni, kwa ni madikuwa je, Edda verse 17. Edda verse 17, anajua ni? Yes, Edda verse 17. Hei, neke. Mwa thani. Enesa maje. Mhm. Akamwambia Adam. Tatangu angalia wazee. Hii si si kuchukia mama lakini si ni Bible. Eh kulia wabedi. Wewe. Hii ayogei kuhusu kuchukia mke si kutokumpenda. Hapana. Hii naongea mwanaume ana ofisi ine za family. You are the prophet, you are the priest, you are the provider and protector. Sasa wanaume wamekua providers only. Only. Weni wakunyonywa. Thabu tha goko ufivi. Ukinyonywa, we ukipeana. Kazi yako inaisha. Mi naogea ukweli. Wamama si tuogea ukweli. Siku hizi vali ya muzeni nini. Si nikotoa hiyo vitu. Lete pesa. Lete nini. Lete nini. Hazard yo. It's true. Na ukikosa pesa. Unachukiwa. Huna akiri. Kwa hindi. Kwa hindi dunia yiko na mnagani. Nike wa suzuwa kero roguwa. Mwanamuke. Ni wabie ukweli na mfisikie. Katika mwanamuke kuna damu ya kuagusha family mwanamuke asipooba na hiyo nimesema bila za Mungu Any woman who is not prayerful to church she will be like this one Na any man who is not prayerful to church he will be like this one Na mtatokewa na Mungu <laughs> Adam because you have heeded the voice of your wife. Tika watu kehitanie. Tukusane siku bini tu. Hii kuwe na kerele kidogo pasa nganga. Badaya ku. Mwajabula anacheka. Hii zini mina hubiri ijiri ya yesu. 
Kwa sababu kwa sababu ndio kuwa na amani. Nimeona vizuri tu ni TV ile mama alisema and God comes to talk kwa kwa and kwa sababu we habari ya, habari yako habari yako wenu nasema hivi kwa kuwa umesikiliza sauti ya mke wako ukala matuda ya muti abao nalikuagiza bible does not say niliwaagiza who was responsible for the voice adam who was responsible for the law of god adam mwenye alikuwa abebe sheria na make sure zimetunzwa ni adam na hebu niwaambie kitu ambao mungu hajatuambia hapa lakini tutajua tukifa ya mbinguni kama adam hangesikiza mama there is a way adam na mungu ageugana waokoe mama wamhubiria piga magoti tukuombe sasa Mungu alipata mzee na mama Mungu hakuwa anakula duniani duniani Mungu hakuwa anakula shetani mume na muka wako pande moja Mungu akishuka naona hata ni waraani rudi biguni hapa sina kula anakuwa nege dhulano hani kama ingekuwa ni uchaguzi Mungu hakuwa anakula huko I pray that Mungu akishuka kwako nyumbani atapata kura zote ya mzee ni ya Mungu ya mama ni ya Mungu na ya watoto. Na in case mtu mmoja akio akianguka, tusianguke na yeye, ndio Jehovah akishuka, tuungane na yeye, tuokoe alianguka. Is it true? That's the right way. Hallelujah. Bwana ainuliwe. Man, you see something friends? Ukienda katika verse 6 inasema mambo matatu, tamaa ya macho, tamaa ya mwili na kiburi cha nini? cha uzima si zote mama alianguka si ni kweli na adam akapewa tu i don't know yes how is the adam at the hour alienda kupatia adam tu akachanganya na matunda mengine adam akakosa kujua akikula mimi siku ile ile abia mugu mugu ile tuda ilichanganywa na ingine na ingine si kujua nikikula hapana bible says adam akipewa tuda alipewa tuda hilo peke yake kula hii leo kuna lunch nyingine na wajini no leo lunch ni hii eh rafiki ya adam ndiye alikuwa mmoja ndiye alintroduce hii roho kwa esau ambao alisema kuna haja gani ya ulithi wakati nakufa na jaa watu watubo Bwana tusaidie sana. But you see, you see now God help us now. Jesus came. If you check your Bible as we now finish. This first battle about Rome takatifu aliongoza Yesu kupigana alipo baada kuzaliwa. This one. Are you understanding now? Before Yesu I had the cavalry. Before Yesu akufa na fufuke, he had to cancel this. Adam Matthew chapter 4. Jesus was revealed to destroy the works of the devil. Are you there? Uh -huh. Matthew chapter 4. Now Uh -huh. Let's read the scriptures. Bwana asifiwe. Unajua isipokuwa ni vile mna sadi nakuwa na haraka. Mimi napenda sana when you have time to know the scriptures and the will of, of God. Not just preaching to you but to know how to live. To know the scriptures. And also kuchimba ukweli mpaka we know how to fight. Si nikwenda wapendwa. Sometimes you fight a sister is so good akisifu lakini hajui hivi vita can you look at this one have you ever discovered where did jesus start his ministry jesus alianza huduma yake eh na kuingilia ile vitu tatu what made adam and eve fall jesus addressed it first in the ministry 
Na niwaambie nyinyi wahubiri mko hapa na vijana kama kina Brown kina whatever nyinyi huduma kama kuna kitu ndio itakuwa ya kwanza katika huduma ya kwanza katika dola ya kwanza katika marriage is this one Ukiona mtu amehubiri miaka 20 miaka 10 miaka 30 na shetani angalia anamuogopa ujue hii mtihani amepita hii mtihani amepita Haleluya Uone mama faith umeongoza sifa watu wanabarikiwa mwaka moja ingenda 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 ingine ujue we personal umepita na we na mzee umepitia hiyo Hakuna mtu atakaa kwa haya madhabahu miaka 23 kama hujapita mtihani that is the first area actually huduma inapoanza The moment you know you are called no na anza kuhubiri. Mungu hataenda bali na wewe mpaka kwanza udhibitike katika nini tamaa ya macho tamaa ya mwili na kiburi cha uzima. Kama si kanisani ni kazini. Kama sio kazini ni kwa doa yako. If you fail in that area utakaa kanisani ukiwa mtu abaye miaka yote you never grew you never became anybody that's why now people stagnating you stagnate actually what when you need to check yourself hello praise god wewe muruya wewe ana miangalia bigune but nisalimie nisemeje yangu naona huyo na huyo eh iko moja hapo Ugepigwa fine ya omena ya Christmas lakini sasa naona ni mtu mtu mzuri. Hallelujah. Bwana sio sana. Now nataka mwangalie hii statement. Hii hii wewe hii verse mnaionaje? Hata unaielewa? Can you understand this verse? Yeah? Wangeshi. Can you understand this verse? It's interesting. Now nataka mwangalie ni nani anapeleka Yesu jangwani? Eh? Anampeleka kwa nini? Can the Holy Ghost do that lili? Kai. Rono e kiogwo. Na wauliza, can the Holy Ghost do that? Why? Bedi. Brown. Can the Holy Ghost do this? Watu wa siku hizi mnahubira mahubiri tu ya neema ya neema ya neema kurukia rukia 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 ni kama acha bwana hii iko anybody abaye ataka kwa huduma ataka kwa doa ataka kwa baraka na ikae miaka mingi na zeke na amani na favor lazima this entry point upite wengi wakianguka wanakaa tu kanisani but they never grow Unakuta huyu ni pasta aliisha. Huyu ni mzee wa kanisa aliisha. Huyu ni dada wa kanisa katika siri kwa maana hii ni katika siri uliisha. Wakati ulijaribiwa mara wa kwanza na tamaa ya mwili huko pita. Ah! Unapata ukiwa tu kwa huduma kuna mwanamke ulilala na yeye. Kuna mwanaume ulilala na yeye. Kuna pesa uliiba kuna kanisa uliharibu hata home church kiburi you get disqualified kwa maana kazi ya Mungu si kazi ambayo utawekwa tu kwa neema utawekwa kwa maana hutaibisha Mungu umepita mtihani wa pendo wa haleluya bwana asifiwe nimeona the other day hata America diwezi tuzen they are saying now give us certificate of minimum entrance ya nchi yenu they are now claiming upeana certificate ya form 4 kwa zote za America as a people don't know kwa Americans they are very tough kuna mtu anakuja hapa river road ana fake ukipeana America they will never accept it mpaka ileto kwenu they are very serious hello praise the lord Jameni utajipata form 4 uh, form 1 eh Alliance boys na hata study huku pita 
ufanya nini huko? Hey, Nairobi University at the degree of architecture. Na hata mahesabu ulipata ee e, e, wapi? Hata Mungu ana hiyo wapendwa. Hello? Unaweza ende university na ukalie kiti, si viti kukalia kukalia. Hata usikite lecturer. But the issue is hutafanya mtihani wewe. Hutahesabiwa. Hutapewa admission number. Nataka kuambia mtihani ukianguka kuna utajipata tu tunasonga na wewe. Lakini the next level you don't get a dimension number. Na tukifanya next wewe tukifanya next exam hutapewa mtihani. Do you know kuna watu tumefanya mtihani tatu? You are allowed but you never get mtihani tukipewa kwa maana wa kwanza uliaguka na ulikataa kurekebishwa that one you affect families that one you affect huduma yako it will affect hata mikono yako hata biashara may god bless the church hallelujah na wauliza nikimalizia can the holy ghost do this lead you to wilderness not to the street to wilderness na ni yeye anakupeleka to be tempted by the devil do you know what he's doing he is saying i'm giving allowance to the same devil aliyetokea genesis chapter 3 so that my people who are called by my name can disapprove the devil we are telling the devil you came uliangusha nyumba ya kwanza hii yangu utaangusha ulitokea ukaangusha mume wa kwanza mimi si adam hutaniangusha oh ulitokea ukaharibu sheria takatifu adam aliyopewa ukaharibu yangu siachili naomba mpate kufauru hallelujah Hallelujah. I always admire Joseph when he said to the to the Potiphar's wife, Potiphar's wife. Sikia, hata kama uko uchi, na umefukuza watu wote na tuko bedroom, na hii ni tabia umezoea na wanaume, utajua mimi ni mwanaume ambaye anafaulu. Mimi ni Adam ambao sheria siangushi kama ndio wa kwanza. Joseph akaambia mama, mama, I want to remind you you are Potiphar's wife. Mama! No, you get her death way. You are somebody's wife. Sawa, kwani kuna nini hiyo? Si tu mnauliza kwa nini? Wase, kwani kuna nini hiyo? Haya, akamwambia listen kama utashaki na kuongezea ingine. Akamwambia nawezaje kufanya dhambi baya kama hii? Bele ya macho ya mungu wangu akajua mungu wa Joseph sio kama sanamu za Egypt. His God is living. I say Jesus came that we now get back na tuondoe kire kiri angusha Adam wakwaza. May God anoint you now. That's the meaning of Christmas. I said that's the meaning of Christmas. Hallelujah. And you are telling the devil, devil, wakatu wa Christmas, diyo anainua tamaya macho sana, diyo anainua tamaya mwiri sana, kibuli sana, but brothers and sisters, we must disapprove and get the approval. Now let's go to verse 2. Farakaraka tubalize hii. Nasema nini? I want you to see the Holy Ghost formula. The Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost. What did the Holy Ghost lead Jesus to do first? To pray and fast for 40 days. Tell me, excuse Holy Spirit is so good. Kwamba akijua mtihani unakuja. Anakuongoza kwa maombi isi wa kawaida. Obey Holy Spirit akikuongoza kwa fasting na waambia kuna fasting ambao mtu hapangi is holy ghost program hapa na mboje and he had fasted and when he had si amemaliza fasting 40 days and nights afterward he was hungry 
Satan came, came after fasting. Akama bia verse 3 asamanje verse 3. Uh -huh. Command stones to become bread. Hiyo ni tamaya nini? Hiyo tamaya nini? Ya mwili. Uh, verse 4. Si Yesu alishinda hiyo. Man shall live by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Satan get away. Hiyo ni tamaya nini? Ya mwili. Si ameshinda. Haya verse 6. Aha, uh -huh. you are son of God. Throw yourself down. He shall give his angels charge over you. Yoni nini? Yoni nini? Aha. Ni kiburi au ni tama ya macho? Yes? Yeah? Yoni? Pride. Aha. Ata hiyo si yesu alishida. Si alishida. Tuwada hiyo ingine verse 7. Mhmm. Kampreka jiwa mulima Showed him the kingdoms You know why? Kwa maana tagu Adam apeane faume Zimekua mikone mashatani So the devil Can you imagine the devil Alionyesha yesu faume zote za dudumwengu Na utukufu wa hizo faume Kambia Jesus all this belongs to me I took them I took over from Adam Na ikiweze kana ni inamia ni kupe Tamaya nini Amaya macho. Eh, what does verse 9 does what does verse 9 say? And verse 10. When Jesus alimaliza the third one, the project was over. Zile mambo matatu iliangusha and if when Jesus was through with the last of the eye, the last of the flesh and the bread of life, he knew now, I'm through, I'm through with the project. What you used to destroy the first family? What you used to destroy the first believer? What you used to destroy the first follower of Jehovah? I'm through with it. Hallelujah. Verse 10 in Asemaji. And because Jesus knew his over, verse 10 in Asema. Matthew 4 verse 10 in Asema. And just said to him, Away with you, Satan. In other words, Satan, this is the last one. I'm finishing the three. I say, I'm finishing the away with you, Satan. For it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. Verse 11 does, says, What? And the devil left. And behold, angels came and ministered to him. That's where Christmas should have you. Have, that's what you should attain. Jesus, the first project alikuja kutimiza is to disapprove the devil. Ulitumia tamaya macho, tamaya muiri, kimburi, kuangusha mutumishi wa kwanza. Na aminanja, kitambo tuonane musarabani. Kitabo ni angamize kifo. Kitabo shetani ni kukute kavari. I once first of all. Kurekebisha kioritumia. And Christ was through with the three. And he says, Satan, away with you now. Let it just take over. That is the truth. Any time, na musikize, any time Jesus preached for three years, angels were always with him. I pray you start a new chapter. Whereby you are through with the devil. And now you live with angels. Angels with your family. Angels in your business. Angels in the crusade. I believe this one can happen. This one can happen. This one can happen. I want to tell you the truth. The only time Mungu aliondoa angels. Aliondoa. Ni wakati Yesu alijitwika all our sins. Can I prove something? Nisikizeni. Munajua katika scripture, inasema hivi. Wakati, dio Yesu, dio mjua Yesu wakua na maraika. Wakati Yesu alikuwa gasamane, 
akishikwa kuna wakati aliangalia maadui wakaanguka akasema sawa amkeni munishike akasema ndio mjue ni mimi nimejipeana ni mimi nimepeana uhai wangu kama ingekuwa ni nguvu hamungenishika i'm the one sacrificing myself yes wakati mmekuta kudishika eh one ya kwa grebo pa 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 na mapagao pu 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 ha wakawa chini wote wakiwa cheza bia haya ngoda mama nya terere eh munanishika because i have committed myself to carry the sins of the world and allah i allow you munishikeni may god help us now amen are you ready to be on overcome kile ibilisi ulitumia kuangusha mama yetu wa kwanza ndugu yetu wa kwanza mimi niko hai to disapprove you and i said you now to graduate and then muhitimu sasa naomba doa yako hitimu kwa maana hata doa itapitia hiyo naomba ujana wako na usichana wako uvrana wako hitimu kwa maana hakuna any young man any young boy hatapitia hiyo naomba your business ihitimu naomba your christmas ihitimu naomba uongoze familia yenu mpaka hitimu and i declare by the word of god kwamba matthew chapter 4 verse 10 he has the kutumia straight away get behind me devil hallelujah for it is written and after that let it just take over now and the devil left i believe kuna wakati unafika satan leaves is only god who is omnipresent not the devil have you ever proved that when god asked the devil umekuwa wapi in the book of job i said maji hakusema amekuwa everywhere alisema nimekuwa humu na humu huku na huku the only thing the devil can do is to move huku na huku humu na humu but for our god he is omnipresent omniscient he is all powerful all wise satan can live na kosekane and it just take charge do you appear mkera biashara zenu mungu wa ajos wa amuru customers in your marriage ikipiti ya kusubuana miaka yote kisha wapendwa maraika hudumia hiyo family watoto wahudumiwe kutoka kwenu kudi kwenu kuhudumiwe jesus i pray now in your name that satan get behind all these people and it just start ministering to every person in this church for that purpose Christ alikuja kwa sababu ya hiyo hiyo ndio christmas ya kwanza nitahubiri christmas ya pili ibada hiyo ingine sema tushukuru Mungu he is lord he is lord he is risen from the dead he is lord Every knee shall bow every tongue that Jesus Christ is Lord Jesus you are the king Na maraika akambia Mary you shall reign forever and you are the king Na ufahamu wako hauna mwisho Father time has come that we qualify for the kingdom we qualify for the ministry we qualify for the gifts of the holy spirit we qualify for the other level of glory baba tuhitimu kwa sababu ya utukufu ulio mbele tuhitimu kwa sababu ya kibali kilicho mbele tuhitimu kwa sababu ya mpango wako ulio mbele yetu father we pray that glorious king kila mtu anayetutazama na anayesikiza sauti hii ajue Jesus came fast to disapprove the devil katika tamaya macho tamaya mwili na kiburi cha uzima huu
Father, have your own way. Can you commit your life to the Lord? Commit your family. Commit, commit your destiny. Commit katara ba setere ba kashota impa kasata sherere ba kashota makasata raba boshanda yoka pasata mazike de de ba shenda na 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 ma shenda ria koseta pasa tane ma mika kasata shenda ria mazika rara raba bo sherere ba kosete ne ne makai mika kosota impa raba zinde de 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 ba sanda we worship you we worship you we worship you Lord. King of kings, we worship you. Lord of lords, we worship you. We love you. We love you, Lord. We will live for you. We will serve you to the end, Lord. Oh, Rianda, Maseke, Dede, Babosa. Makasata poso shina nima yoko poso ta papa sa sheke tene ma makasata poso ta sheke de 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 babo shanda na 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 mamo sanda ripo sekara babo we love you Lord we love you we love you Jesus oh the Son of the Most High the Son of the Most High the Son of the Living God we love you. We love you, Lord. We love you. Shera baba ba, shekata pafa sakata baza. Jesus Christ. Wapendwa, unahisi moyoni mwako kwamba umekuwa kiishi maisha ya kushindwa. Umekuwa kiishi maisha ambao mitihani ya Mungu ambao roho wa Bwana anaruhusu ikuje ndio kipita uhitimu kwa karama na baraka most of them kulingana mahubiri ya leo naona mimi naomba Mungu tu anipe na sitamwaibisha tena yes kuna jabu ulifanya wakati ulipitia kwa jaribu lako katia moja zile tamaya macho tamaya mwili au kiburi huku pita na hiyo jabo ndio unasugudua leo it has caused your stagnation it has caused your failure but the blood of jesus is here to cleanse you mkono wa bwana uko hapa roho wa bwana uko hapa akupe nafasi na wewe ukipewa nafasi ingine sasa wakati wa kuinuka na kufaulu upoke father we love you wasema god i know very well hiyo mitihani ya Holy Spirit hiyo mitihani ya roho wa Bwana nimejua kwa jia moja katika ujana wangu katika uzee wangu katika uvurana na usichana wangu there's somewhere i did not prove god and his word na ningetaka Mungu anisamehe na ningetaka Bwana anipe nafasi labda imesababisha nyumba yako haribike imesababisha ujana wako uwe ujana sio faa imesababisha hata kibiashara ukose favor but now tunapoingia christmas damu ya kristo ipatie nafasi na utaona vile mungu anaweza kukurekebisha na kukuinua na kama hiyo ni ombi lako inua mkono wa kulia juu kama hiyo ni ombi lako unajua vizuri mimi katika ujana wangu uzee wangu na katika maisha yangu the summer i failed na nikataka mungu anirehemu inatoka mkono wangu unaosidaganye Mr. kujua ni wapi hata kama unajulikana umeokoka lakini si mambo ya kuokoka tu weza okoka lakini mitihani yanguke weza okoka na uonekane kanisani hata uonekane ukifanya kazi lakini mitihani hiyo tatu kuna moja au bili hukupita na ungetaka Mungu akurehemu Be serious before God because I know hii ni chance ya watu kukobolewa leo. Hii ni chance ya watu kukobolewa. Yes, wewe ni mzee lakini ulipokuwa ukioa ulianguka usidakanye. Wewe ni mama ulipokuwa ukiolewa ulianguka hujawahi ambia Mungu ukweli wa hiyo tamaa yako. Wewe ni msichana kuna kijana alikuja uliharibu your virginity. Mtihani na wewe ni muhuduma uliharibu You've never cleared that with God. Mungu hata hatakupa favor kama hutakubali to clear issues with him. Mr. kujua ni wapi lakini wewe unajijua katika siri. Kwa maana mtihani ulikuwa ni katika wewe ni wewe Mungu. Ninatumwa na wakati juu. 
Nikataka kwa dakika moja hawa watu waje hapa. Wewe kuja tu. Kuja tu jipe moyo. Na usiogope wewe kuja. Kuja mpaka hapa. Na ukifika hapa, wabia Mungu ukweli. Wabia Mungu ukweli. Wabia Mungu ukweli. My God. Yesu unipenda kwako na kibilia ni wewe utosha wovu akindijia ya fiche ubavu ni wako maisha Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Abia mungu yo siri. Iyo siri yako. Ulikuwa hapo na ibirisi. You failed the test. Tell God the truth. Tell God the truth. Watch out to our men. Tell God the truth. Tell God the truth. Abia mungu ukweri. Gome nyingine sina. Endea kuomba. Endea kuomba. Endea kuomba. Make sure you are serious now. Be serious with the Holy Ghost. I say be serious with the Holy Spirit. Shakata papa kasara baba bosa. Oba kabisa. Ongea. Ongea ukweli wa moyo. Ongea ukweli wa boma yako. Ongea ukweli wa doa yako. Ongea ukweli wa ujana wako. Ongea ukweli usifiche. Speak the truth. Tell God, God, forgive me now. Bless me now. Bless me now. Shekerere baba baba baba. Sherara baba boza kada babo saka. Rima seka taba. Oba kabisa, oba kabisa, oba kabisa, oba. Whatever you are, pray, pray. Usijifanye, usitaganye. Speak the truth. Mungu wetu ni mungu wa ukweli. Mungu wetu ni mungu wa utakatifu. Mungu wetu ni mungu wa haki. Mungu wetu ni mungu wa utakaso. Mungu wetu ni mungu wa ukobozi. Ora baba 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 baba. Ora makasa taba. Oba kabisa omba. Pre 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 pre. Omba omba. My brother, let God touch your life from today. Oba kabisa omba. Omba omba. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Kila mtu omba. Kila mtu omba. Omba. Ni mungu ana kuita leo. Sharara baka tara baka tora bika setere baka. Let the Lord have Baba. Lord have your own way now. Lord have your own way. Lord have your own way. Have your own way. Have your own way, Lord. Sharababa kata. Sherere mazika nama. Makasata bakasata. Sherere makosa. Chekete makata. Ongea wa ukweli wa moyo. Ongea wa ukweli wa maisha. Ongea wa ukweli. Sheka pakaze karababo saya. Thank you, Lord. Baba. 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 Mungu wa haki. Kimbilio. Lawa nyanye kefu. Kimbilio. Lawa safiru wa binguni. Baba. Naumba mungu ni kwa belezako. Kira mutu alie kupari ukweli. Umusamehe. Umusamehe. Naumpatia nafasi. Ya kusimama imala. Muta peseka. Ruminawa. My God. Give this brother. Give this sister. Chance to start again. And be a winner. Be an overcomer. Be a winner. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kira giza. Iangamie. Baba kwa sababu ya damu ya Yesu. Odoa hasira yako juya hao. Warehemu na kusi baba. Warehemu na kusi ufame. Sherara baba baba. Warehemu baba na kusi. Asante bana. Na bana. Kwa sababu wakati umefika. Shetani ya juwe. Katika tamaya mwili. Katika tamaya macho. Katika kiburi cha uzima. Kida litumia kuangusha adam wa kwanza. Sisi tutafauru tutakishinda. Kama Yesu walipo shinda. Naomba ukweli wa Yesu. Na ushidu huwa Yesu. Uwe kwa kila moja wetu. In Christ we pray and we believe. Pigia Yesu makofi ya naweza.